Avatar Aang, master of all elements and protector of a vast and epic world, consisting of four nations, the Water Tribe, the Earth Kingdom, the Air Nomads, and the Fire Nation. Here's everything you need to know about the people, culture, and history of the four nations. Let's start by taking a closer look at the Water Tribe. The people of the Water Tribe live on the globe's north and south poles. The geographical locations of each tribe have limited their natural resources, population, and economy. They are dependent on what is provided by the ocean, so you can expect a consistent diet of fish and sea prune stew, which is actually tastier than it looks. Ugh. It's no problem for them, however, as the people of the Water Tribe are capable of not only surviving in harsh conditions, but can use them to their advantage. Their frozen, isolated terrains serve as defense against threats and attacks. The North Pole in particular is a frozen fortress that never succumbed to foreign invaders. The people of the Water Tribe are generally peaceful and strive to live in harmony with the other nations of the world. But don't underestimate their fighting abilities. Most tribe members, benders and non-benders, are fully trained warriors. These warriors specialize in sabotage and reconnaissance missions and fight with strategy as opposed to brute force. Several members of the Water Tribe were key players in ending the Hundred Year War against the Fire Nation. And did I mention they have bloodbenders? Steer clear of these folks, as they can take complete control of your body. The Earth Kingdom, the largest of the four nations. The people of the Earth Kingdom are persistent and strong, yet peaceful and cooperative. Most earthbenders use their abilities for defense and transportation. Here you can find vast mountain ranges, haunting swamps, and scorching deserts. At the center of it all is the kingdom's capital, Ba Sing Se. The largest city in the world of Avatar and home to the Earth King, Ba Sing Se has become a beacon for cultural diversity as well as a center of trade and commerce. Citygoers can find an endless supply of shops, restaurants, and entertainment. You have quite an appetite for a girl. Um, thanks? It is rumored that their tea is the best in the world. But that's a hot take. <laughs> This tea is nothing more than hot leaf juice. The outskirts of the city serve as a home for refugees during the war, using its colossal walls as defense against threatening nations. That's why the city is named Ba Sing Se. It's the impenetrable city. They don't call it Na Sing Se. <laughs> that means penetrable city. But the city life is not for everyone as its grand-scale population has led to grand-scale problems. Ba Sing Se has a history of crime, corruption, and conspiracy. No one knows what is truly happening beyond the inner walls. Stay on your toes and never let your guard down. The Air Temples, home of Avatar Aang. The Air Nomads were located all over the world, specifically in the original four Air Temples. These large temples were located in each corner of the world in isolated environments, such as mountaintops or islands. These temples served as the home to the airbenders and the monks who trained them. Air nomads used their airbending to embrace freedom and peace. Using their flying bison, the air nomads would travel the world and lived in harmony with nature. They tend to be fun-loving thrill-seekers and also had great senses of humor. Unfortunately, not much fun has been had for the air nomads in recent years. A long time ago, Fire Lord Sozin used a comet to enhance the abilities of his firebending army. The Fire Nation proceeded to devastate each of the air temples in an effort to destroy the Avatar. The air nomads were completely wiped out, but the Avatar survived, making him the last airbender. The Fire Nation. Similar to the Earth Kingdom, the Fire Nation is an absolute monarchy. 
The Fire Lord rules over an industrial juggernaut that has paved the way for the world's most powerful economy and military. Following the attack on the Air Nomads, Fire Lord Sozin launched a campaign to conquer the world. With no avatar to interject, the Fire Nation's Navy and Air Force proceeded to raid the Southern Water Tribe and outskirts of the Earth Kingdom. This was the beginning of the Hundred Year War. Sozin's grandson, Fire Lord Ozai, dreamed to fulfill his grandfather's plans to conquer the world. He planned on using the comet's return to destroy the Earth Kingdom. Not a moment too soon, the Avatar returned to the world. Ozai and Aang faced off in an epic showdown. Ultimately, Ozai was defeated and the war was over. Ozai's son Zuko became the new Fire Lord. He and Aang worked together to reconstruct the Four Nations and transform Fire Nation colonies into the United Republic, a society where benders and non-benders could live in peace and harmony. The capital, Republic City, became one of the largest and most modern cities in the world. The city saw a period of great progress, including the return of the airbenders. After a full life of heroic deeds and leadership, Avatar Aang's time in this world came to an end. His youngest son Tenzin passed on Aang's teachings to the new generation of airbenders alongside the next Avatar, Korra of the Water Tribe. But we'll tell her story another time. That wraps up everything you need to know about the four nations. Which nation would you want to visit first? Let us know in the comments and tune in next time for more deep dives into the Avatar universe. This city is a prison. I don't want to make a life here. Life happens wherever you are, whether you make it or not. Nick Rewind is all about classic Nickelodeon. Want more? Like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Nick Rewind channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video.